Oh no. Help. Why? Okay. They have the cutest patterns, but what's happening? Sorry, I'm just going on your... my TikTok. No, just Minor tink tonk. Minor tink tonk. Here we are. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's see here. Sing Taylor Swift, please. No! Best way to start off an improv podcast? A denial. No! <laughs> Second best way to start an improv con is to. Sing songs already written. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Monday. Thank you, Al. Or AI. Why? I don't want to get sued. Taylor Swift is litigious. She's litigious. It's true. She ain't afraid to sue. Litrugious. Litrugious. Okay, fair enough. I caught a live. You did. Welcome, welcome. Once we get 100 people in here, we'll, we'll kick things started. Wait. Ages, guys? Wait. Ages. Our ages? I'm 17 years old. Ba -da -ba -ba. There we go. Okay. Can she please do her fresh, flushed away impression? Are these all likes, but they're coming off as eggs? Tay Tay, love your stuff. We love that you love it. Um, I thought he was 12. He does look old for his age. He looks like a 16 year old in a 12 year old body. <laughs> hey, everyone from the UK. Hey, Sam Frost. Hey, UK. Hey, hey, UK. UK. Hey, Britain, UK. UK. Hey, Britain, UK. Why'd you do that? Because <laughs> that's I the proper. I just adjusted oh, it. Just, <laughs> just the proper mic placement. Okay. You're always like. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I want it in a certain place, just geographically. No, just in, I don't know how to explain it. I love y'all's yeah. videos so much. Thanks, Marina the Skimmer. Vinta, vintage, vintage. You guys are phenom. Marcy001 joined. Nom, 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 nom. A lot of people want the flushed away impression. Really? Is Come that back. is that recently been reposted? I don't think so. Weird. No. You guys just no. are into that. Have y'all watched Wonka yet? Of course. Uh, scratch that. We <laughs> we we watched it. Never did we, yes. Wait, scratch it, reverse it. We did watch it once. In our pocket. Ba, 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 ba. Oh man, yeah, this thing keeps getting skawampus. Ba, 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 ba. Is your ear still are you out one ear? I think I'm still out one ear. Oh, we gotta test these cables. Um, Flushed away, please. You didn't you didn't it posted. It. It's just so funny. Y'all need a song about the weird inappropriate comments on a live stream. And give give meaning. Um, greetings, Earthlings. Sam needs to perform with y'all this weekend. You're talking about Sam, right? He was supposed to on Saturday, but he... He, he dropped out. Um, Derny dropped out. But there won't even be any shows this weekend, right? Oh, it's conference weekend. It, oh, is oh. it canceled? Yeah, it's canceled. Yep, so we're in Utah. So there's a predominant... Oh, come on. Is yours doing it too, Zach? Mine's better now. Um, there's a predominant religion here in Utah, and they hold a biannual conference, and it's impossible to compete with. So no... Semi-annual. Semi-annual. Ah, what would biannual mean? Every two years. Every two years. That's right. Thank you, Kid, for the save. Oh, Semi-annual conference. I never know but if you want to hear um, LDS leaders talk, it'll be on, it'll be on generalconference.com, I assume. <laughs> <laughs> for our LDS friends. As a reminder. As a reminder. Um, let's see here. Zach wearing the cloud stompers 24-7 go crazy. <laughs> They're very comfortable. I will always sacrifice fashion for comfort. And that's something you need to get used to with me. <laughs> always. I um, will when I'm by myself at home. <laughs> Sometimes. I didn't, I didn't realize this is a live. I was waiting for the hilarious part. Thanks for the slam. Oh, no. Um, okay, great. Woo, hey guys. How's level piano for you, Shay? Sounds I recently good. watched the Too Little Too Late. Feels good. She's so pretty in her lover voice. My dad's Thank the best. You. He's been stuck in my head my all that. My dad's the best. It is really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Can you say can you say pocket in the flushed away voice? Oh, pocket. <laughs> 
<laughs> when will they get started uh we should be pretty close we're gonna do two episodes of musical monday today uh so we need made up titles from you musical titles that don't exist try to make them sound shocking try to make them sound dramatic try to make them sound real angsty we need made up musical it's titles raining from outside you. Today, so let that inspire you. Yeah. It's raining outside. Kind of mood we're in. Yeah, we're yeah. all in a rainy mood as well, in our hearts and our souls. Yeah. We're in the fall spring of Utah, which lies to us constantly yeah. until May. Caleb said his heart has pneumonia, but his body has other issues. <laughs> yeah, I'm overweight, high blood pressure. No, um, not, nothing wrong with that. Um, I walk weird with my feet, so I'm always going to sprain my ankle. Really? Yeah. I, I have the roll-in feet, too. What's that called? I have no arch support. I don't know. Like, wonky ankle? Uh, wonky ankle? Wonk ankle? Yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah. <laughs> That's the scientific term. Sobbing teen love. Ooh. My papa Ooh. said I'm not a high. I don't know what that means. The curse of the amulet. My papa said oh, I I'm dig a that. High. That's rad. Papa said I'm a go by. <laughs> the shoes untied. The crypt of crimes? The Crypt of Crimes? The Crypt of Crimes. That is delicious. Sugar like Mama that. Broke My Heart. Ooh, I like that. Sugar Mama Broke My Heart. We've never done a Sugar Mama. We haven't. Have we? We haven't done a Sugar Anything. We've implied Sugar Mamas quite a bit. Sugar really? Yeah. No, I don't know. <laughs> um, hello, so excited. I set the alarm this time. Ooh, Big Swag Socks, good for you. Big Swag Socks. Big Swag you know what Socks. They say. The bigger the socks. The bigger the swag. The bigger the shoes. And the bigger the shoes. The, the bigger, bigger the feet. The feet. And bigger the, the bigger feet. the feet. <laughs> the bigger the toes. <laughs> bigger yeah, I the hate toes. a person with big feet and tiny bigger toes. The toe <laughs> <laughs> bigger, bigger the toenails. Bigger the toenails. The bigger, bigger the, the toenail polish. clippers oh. and the polish. <laughs> um, let's see. Rainy and I love. Oh, thank you, Ronald. Fondled. I don't know. I, I said that wrong. Fondled. <laughs> Ronald Fondled. Ronald Fondled. Ronald Fondled and Fondled. <laughs> That's a good name. Um, That's pretty solid. Lightning strikes about a guy with mohawk from being struck by the... I'm fondling. <laughs> That's too close to home. Hello from Scotland. Hello, Marta from Scotland. Uh, the myth of the 1975's fan. The fall of the Umbrella Man. There's a lot of good ones in there. Yeah. Umbrella Man, the fall that's of, cute. The fall of the Umbrella Man. That's I kind of like it. That's quite cute. Is it in the Hot Dogiverse? No. Officially, no. Officially, no. <laughs> Decidedly, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny if um, if some movies came out and they said, our movie is not a part of Hot the... Dogiverse. Yeah. Or any Or any verse. universe. You can't. So, yeah. This is not in the Land Before Time of Earth, just uh, so you guys know. Just to clarify. Honestly, we need more stuff there, though. That is. Yeah, there's um, only 12, 13 movies. Give me more. Only 13? I like The Fall of the Umbrella Man a lot. I think that's great. That's great. Okay. Let's we should it. open up with a scene and a song? Yeah. Are we, are we, uh, rolling on your end, Gabe? Re-recording? Oh, really? Sometimes it takes a while? Yeah, it's just the drive-in. Okay. Now we're recording. Yep. The Fall of the Umbrella Man. Scene into song? Yeah. I like that. Pitter-patter, pitter-patter. Excuse me, sir. I'm lost in the rain, and, uh, and I've lost my wallet, wallet book, and I've lost my purse, and I've lost my... Rain jacket. I'm seeking shelter. Why, you can step right up, step right in underneath my leathered umbrella. <laughs> oh, yes. Are you a carnival man? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I sell delights. I sell experiences and I sell trifles. Step right in. Uh, that's just a small fee. Oh, uh, well, like I said, I've lost everything except for my... Uh, except for a few buttons and a, and a wish. So you accept my terms. Step under my umbrella. Get, get yourself dry. Well, I'm just saying, I, I, I don't know what I have to offer you except for, well, my, my mother's turquoise ring. That will be an excellent down payment. <laughs> I'll hold on to that as a deposit. Isn't it unusually warm under here? Yes, it's a sauna. It's getting hotter and hotter. <laughs> That's right, it is.
is getting toasty. You're sweating, young maiden. Uh, my name's S Sarah. <laughs> Sarah, excellent. Why, it cost you the ring to come in, but to leave, it'll cost you much more than that. Oh no, like what? A kiss. <laughs> Just a kiss. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm lonely. And, uh, <laughs> no, Sorry no, about no, all those no, theatrics. Okay. No, I'm just a lonely man. A kiss. Just a kiss. A kiss. You don't have just to do kiss. that. <laughs> I know you're the loneliest. A kiss. Just a kiss. In my heyday, I didn't have to trick the ladies for a smooch. Back in my day, the umbrella man was the best. I was the pooch of the town. But after my fall, after I lost it all, I've had to resort to these tricks. While the rain drips Just a kiss You don't have to Just do that Just I'm sorry for kiss. putting you in that position You don't have to Just do that I'm just a fallen man in need of remission It's hard to peek when you're only in your twenties And as the years climb on you cling to a kiss it's just a creepy way of getting it i'm sure there's lots of avenues to find a rightful kiss for you a kiss you don't have to just a kiss. do that a kiss. i swear just a kiss. i was bad for a moment but i'm trying to learn from my ways just a kiss friend would be just fine i know i'm not saying i'm giving you a kiss oh but i'm saying i'll help you find one <gasps> i'll be your wingman you be my rain man rain man number <laughs> <laughs> star flying across his face <laughs> just a kiss a five a six a five six seven eight Headphones are really yeah, bugging me. Crinkly, crankly up a. Up. Is that better? No. Eee. Unpleasant. You know what? I've got. I just remembered. I've got at least one of this type of cable in my car. I could go grab it. We could swap it out and see. We're just spending the minute to do that. Are yours bad too, uh -huh. Zach? Yeah, I'm hearing some static pretty much the whole time. Let me let me huh. go grab that really fast. So All right, fast. we're gonna take a break. Sorry, and guys. We're gonna talk. Sorry, guys. Let's see here. Um, we got 340 people in here. How fun is that? Well, it sounds better now, actually. Does it? It does, yeah. Oh, if you if you just want to... Yeah, Let's I think see. it's okay. It, it really is. It's gone for me. Yeah. I love that you're both in slippers. Thanks, Kara or Kara. I don't know. My sister-in-law has that name, and I never know how to pronounce that. What in the world? This is amazing. Thank you, Climb Johns. Um, when do they swim? I like how his shoes Winning. are land and sea capable. I'm a huge fan from Australia. Whoa. Oh, I was about to do an Australian accent. wasn't ready for it. And we're thankful for you. I was just watching y'all. Uh, traveling agoraphobe. All right, we back. We ready to go? Just don't touch anything at all? Yeah. So we'll just start at the five, six, seven, eight. the verdict. Okay. We good? We ready? Um, estamos, estamos listos? Yeah. Oh, hold on. What's going on? <laughs> oh, Lordy. Caleb can. Do you guys see what we have to suffer with? The, you know, you think with AI, it would just make everything perfect. <laughs> but AI is still here and we're still having technical difficulties. I love how Zach bends into the, oh, blends into the wall because I'm a shirt, my mustard shirt. Yeah, static on the stream. Oh, they're, they're hearing some static on the stream too. Oh, interesting. Hablan Espanol? Oh, solo pequeño. Do you have that in your ears as well, Gabe? Um, I haven't really heard anything. Hmm. It just must be the feed that's coming to there to there rather yeah. than the hard. But it's it sounds it sounds yeah, better now. No sounds static good now. anymore. Okay. Hey yo. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's get back into it. Let's get back into it. A five. A six. A five. Six. Seven. Eight. Musical Monday. Musical Monday. Ah, oh, they're 
there's some things I just can't stand. The rain from the umbrella band. Close enough. <laughs> Musical Monday. Hello and welcome back to Musical Monday with Caleb, Zach, and Shade, Improv Broadway. Those are our names and this is Musical Monday, the show where we review the wettest, saddest musicals that have ever been on Off-Broadway. And today's no different. Today is the fall of the Umbrella Man. And you just heard the first opening scene of a man with a hint of a glorious past that has crashed into obscurity and is ashamed of the tactics he's doing for just a little bit of attention. But luckily, the kindness and respect of a stranger has set him on his path for redemption. That's right. Um, and so in this next song, um, you kind of get to hear... Uh, some of his um, some of his ways of wooing women and then you know suggestions for uh, what to do instead yeah kind of like a cute little like learning song yeah Mm -hmm. yeah he's like here's all the here's the way I used to do all my rad stuff yeah and then you get to hear like oh well have you tried this instead yeah from from his new wing woman woman. who's who's trying to help him get back to his glory days but like in a way that's positive yeah Yeah. it's It's not problematic yeah Mm -hmm. in this song how about this oh honey (laughs) (laughs) how's this back in the 90s i used to rock a freaking mullet tell me girl will that woo the ladies tell me How's this? Oh, won't you tell me if this is right? How's this? How's this? It's better to be going bald than to have a mullet. What's it called? Better just shave it off. You're doing yourself a disfavor. All right, how's this? When I see people walk down the path, I like to cat call. I'll say a woo woo with my mouth, and I will. Oh, will that make the ladies fall? They're only attracting felines when you're cat calling, you're out of line. Better not hear a meow or a wolf. Baby, you're in the doghouse for good. How's this? Say, is your name the same? And if they see ya, I'll say, I got it for you. And they'll be so wowed at this custom tattoo. Then surely that will allow me to find the lady of my dreams. That simply will not do. Why don't you find their favorite book that's used? Then take a little cute peruse and highlight your favorite part. How's this? How's this? How's this? How? How is this? All right, rapid fire. I'm gonna shoot some stuff out to you, and you just say yay or nay real quick. All right. Number one, Heelys. Nay. Number one, I tattoos. Nay. Number three, Taco Bell every night. Nay. Number four, or, or booze. Sure. We did it. I go to the bar, and that's where I'm gonna go for. Oh, I think I did this. Oh, you help me understand this. How's this? Great. How's this? Ah, oh, beautiful. You know, they say. The key to a woman's heart is through her um, kidneys. Yeah. Yeah. 
they are connected. You mean the livers? And the livers, too. <laughs> well, you got peed out. You got to filter the blood, and you got to filter the alcohol. Yeah, you need both, I yeah, guess. That's true. To, to drink alcohol. Totally true. Well, uh, yeah, and, and, you know, how that actually interprets is just like, you know, go to a bar, like, try to find someone, like, offer to buy them a drink. He's really learning etiquette. It's a mm-hmm. real beauty and the beast reformation into a gentleman. Um, and not unlike that Steve Carell rom-com that I watched this past year. Crazy Stupid Love. Crazy Stupid Love. Is that any good? I haven't seen it. It's one of my favorite romance movies. I love it. Is it? Yeah. Is, it, it. Is, Ryan, it is, uh, Ryan Gosling. I love Ryan Gosling. Emma Stone. What? Uh, Steve Carell as a as a dad. A Are you dad. sure you guys want to play Jackbox tonight and not watch that movie? Like <laughs> well, well, you're not you coming anyway. Come. So why they even? Well, I do want to watch that movie. <laughs> it's a good movie, but um, he's actually getting a lot of success. Mm-hmm. And is the wingman jealous of all the success? Could be. Is she? Could be. Um, yeah, and so in this next song, we find out if she is. Yeah, well, because um, she's, she's put in all this work to basically make him good yes. at being attractive and kind to people. And, uh, yeah, so, like, other people are benefiting from that. Is that is that fair? Does she like that? Is she okay she, with that? Is she actually excited because now he's spending less time with her? He's spending time with more people? Is it a little bit of both? I don't know. And also it's important to know that he has an umbrella in every scene. Oh, yeah. It's, and it's part of his body. It comes out of his shoulder and spreads out. <laughs> it, it doesn't really come across in the lyrics so far, but in the choreography, he's always popping out that right. umbrella. He's oh, tapping. Oh, he's like, goodness. he's zip lining it's down. It's singing in the rain style. Yeah. yeah. And they, it's always raining milk so that you can see it in black and white. Yeah. And they all have fevers of 105. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah the whole budget was basically just all about these umbrella tricks. That's right. And she broke her wrist and had to keep performing. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's a West Side Story thing. Well, let's hear that song that reveals of whether or not she's been jealous of the gentleman she's made.
And uh, he notices her looking jealous in the corner. And he walks over to her and he lets go of the two beautiful women that he's been respecting all night. And he walks over and he reveals his true identity. Mm-hmm. Let's all say it together on three. Three, two, one. Himself. Ryan Gosling. Himself, Ryan mm-hmm. Gosling. Yeah. He was Ryan Gosling the whole time. And he didn't need a glow up. And she just helped him discover, hot dang, you're Ryan Gosling. You're one of the most beautiful, handsome people in the whole Which world. Which he had somehow forgot. He had forgotten. But he remembers now. And that's a good lesson for all of us, is sometimes we forget we're Ryan Gosling. He hit his yeah. head. He did. Yeah. <laughs> he had memory loss. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. just like 50 first dates, she has to remind him every day <laughs> he he's Ryan he's Gosling. scene in the Barbie movie where the wave hits him and it's just hard plastic. Yeah. Mm. That really took a toll on him. Yeah. yeah. Really that's really true. He's like, I want to do my own stunts just like Tom Cruise. And they're like, okay, but there's no ropes yeah, or anything. He's like, I'm fine. That's but fine. fine. Yeah. This is an alternate universe <laughs> where he hasn't married um, Eva Mendes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. Because yeah. uh, that would make him not as cool. But it's important for us all to remember that on the inside, we're all Ryan Gosling. And we just need our wingman to help us remember who we are in our rainy days. To remind us to throw up our umbrella, be respectful, and go out there and find the people that matter. And you know who matters to us? You, out there, dear listener. And we hope you'll tune in every single Monday here on this little show we like to call see here let me check the live hey thanks everybody who's on and being with us should we restart it um maybe yeah that's a good idea i feel like it's timed out on us so much yeah we might as well yeah guys we're probably gonna start a new live just because it turns off on us sometimes for the episode two so be patient we'll be right back Don't do another I'm cool either way. Because we're missing next Monday because of a... Oh, the um, I guess we could sun, do, la- sun we could thing? Do two fan film Fridays. We probably have more musical Mondays in the bank than we do fan film Fridays. For sure. So let's do two fan film okay. Fridays. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. <sighs> fan film Fordor. Are we doing silly songs today too? That or is that a different day? for Fan Film Friday, so a movie, and a movie title that doesn't exist. And we could also use some of the other suggestions for Musical Monday, oh, yeah, if we lot, wanted to. They go, yeah. they gone now. Uh, let's see, yeah, we got 50. Once we get 100, we'll, we'll just go into it. Mohawks with a rat tail, the movie. Oh, we're already getting some. Fifty Shades of Brown, The Pigeon Whisperer, that's interesting. Oh, Hello! Yeah. If you're just joining the live, we're filming a segment called Fan Film Friday. We need made-up titles of movies that don't exist. Give us titles of movies. The Crypt of Crimes could be a fun um, um, Fan Film Friday. Yeah, mm-hmm. that could. That's good, too. Uh, let's see here. Zach responds to the TikToks I send. I've been left on scene. <laughs> um, the Little Green Man in the Rim of My Drink. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Maybe one day. <laughs> All right, let's do. Uh, should we do um, the Crypt of Crimes? I like that it. Sounds great. The Crypt. Rad. All right, we're gonna do. A, we're gonna review of the movie The Crypt of Crimes. All right, we recording. Mm-hmm. Hold up. Just to, okay. Yep. Sweet. Okay, everybody. Jacques. Wee oui, wee. Oui. I know we're not supposed to, but 
take me to the forbidden catacombs. No, it is against my uh, pledge of honor that I would never take a <laughs> civilian there. I want to see the mole people. No, 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 the dead moles. If, the, if someone as beautiful as you would go down there, they would surely rise from the grave. I want to see the skulls. I want to see the femurs. I want to see centuries of dead history. It's the only skull you'll see down there, Mount Chari, is your own. Please, please, you know I <laughs> made you a promise I would do one thing for you. Do not ask this of me. Jacques, it's the reason I came to France. Was to use me to get to the, the catacombs? Yeah, it's been a five-year investment only for this. Ah, I'm telling you, only the most dark criminals, when you are when you are sentenced to certain crimes, you are sentenced to death. But there are certain crimes so bad, so evil, so petulant, that we have to put their bones in the catacombs. Because the energies of their bones are so powerful, so potent, that they can rise again to, get, to commit crimes again. That's pretty cool, don't you think? Oh, mon chéri, please. <laughs> it is every Frenchman's word. Is that if we if we deny our promise, even for um, something as honorable as protecting life, that I will die. I do not wish for this. Please, Jacques, what can I do to convince you? I'll give you buttloads of butter. <gasps> Just truckloads Creamy and buttloads. Butter. Carry gold. Oh, <laughs> As a Frenchman, I love <laughs> Cali gold. Fresh, fresh made. Oof. I'll give you the whole cow. All right, if you insist, mon chéri. <gasps> wow, this is so cool. It's just like Indiana Jones. We, oui. and just like Indiana Jones, there is a deeper thing going on here. I am sorry, mon chéri. <gasps> no! Oh, what? <laughs> My heart! For you see, places on shelf, it was maybe a five-year con for you, but a six-year con <laughs> for me. For the catacombs can only feast on a willing participant. And did you not beg to come down here? <laughs> I did. I'm a beggar. I'm a filthy beggar, but I'm just, I just wanted to experience something new, something magical. Oh, it is both of those things. Why me? And what happens if the crypts don't feed? Well, have you ever heard of the apocalypse? Uh, yeah. It's that. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's lots of different versions, which... Which, Which one are you thinking of right now? <laughs> um, the zombie. Yes! <laughs> the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Their bones will rise and they will feast on people. So, <gasps> so they can have the brains back in their skulls. You're picking up so quick, <laughs> mon chéri. But I'm sorry because your heart is down here. You may be alive, but you will always be tethered to this place. That's torture. Oui, oui. But the torture set you I hate you, shucks. <laughs> Blackout. Nice. Crypt of Crimes. Uh, yeah, it's kind of um, it's kind of a like fantasy drama cop show. Uh, but yeah, what an inciting incident. Um, a woman tricked by a Frenchman. Oh, who would have guessed that was possible? Mm. Never trust a Frenchman. I love the twist there at the beginning where you think it's a crypt of crimes because it's where all the criminals are buried. But oh no, this is the crypt where all the worst crimes have ever been committed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's also fun because Jacques is a mime. And all of that a was a communicated job. through mime. It's yeah. all in subtitles. <laughs> yeah, for the format for you guys, we had it yeah. transformed into audio yeah. and stuff. <laughs> It's but, um, interesting. But the, it's, it's all mimed, yeah. The mine is very American, but the person who does the dubbing <laughs> is French. very French. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the whole time he was just like... <laughs> but he's still, like, they're in France. Yeah. It's, he's, an, he's an American actor, but he's a French... Yeah, um, he's, he's a playing French, a French character. But he does wear the American flag as a cape and a cowboy hat and snakeskin boots. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and so this, you know, this poor, this poor dame, um, her heart, she's still alive. She is the now the, she's amongst the living mm-hmm. dead, but her heart it's is captured. tethered in this crypt of crimes. Captured by the crypt. Yes. Um, and, you know, the... The American French mime said there was nothing that they could do. And in fact, you know, added pressure that that heart needs to be there to keep the worst criminals alive mm-hmm. from returning as zombies and stealing everyone's brain. Yeah. So she decides to do a little research. And just like Indiana Jones, she decides to go visit a very handsome professor who might know a little bit, too, about the historical and the arcane. Yeah, he is um professor of... uh recent historical zombie studies <laughs> yes um, he's it's um, this class that he holds in his basement every yeah. friday night and yeah. it's a community college yeah, yeah. <laughs> he calls himself a historian but it's all stuff that's happened in like the last six months yeah it's technically a free <laughs> class but he does require that you wear um the class merch t-shirt mm. and yeah. socks and he charges a lot for those yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's been um, he's been labeled labeled a kook mm-hmm. and a pseudoscience, and his textbook is just a photocopy diary that also like textbooks. He charges like two hundred bucks so a pop. Much. Yeah, and he's got about eighty percent of it blacked out because it's his diary and there's stuff in there he doesn't <laughs> want people to yeah. know. Yeah. So he's just left all the zombie info, yeah. which is substantial. Yeah. And some stuff he forgot yeah. to mark out, so it'll be mm-hmm. like, uh, my ex wife uh, was really giving me a hard time. Yeah. Today. <laughs> yeah. I just love, you know, if you're just to see a picture of him and be like, wow, sexy Indiana Jones professor type. But the more you learn about him, you more you learn he is a total loser. Well, he's still sexy. Oh, he's yeah, still he's That's the thing. Hell. Yeah, you can be sexy and weird. And be a basement nerd. It's rare, but it happens. Some yeah. people have accused me of that. A sexy uh, nerd nerd basement. That did happen once. It's accurate. <laughs> yeah. Don't think he's lying. Yeah. But it was an accusation. That's true. Uh, <laughs> it was not a compliment. <laughs> yeah, it was. They're accusing me of that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, let's open up on this scene. Uh, Professor um, Bones is his name. Uh, not, his, not his Christian name, but the way yeah, he calls he, himself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Professor Bones is closing up his lecture with the woman outside, and then she she enters. Mm-hmm. All right, for the last segment of the class, everybody, please turn to diary page 49 and uh, repeat with me the credo of the uh, of, of the Crypt Keeper. I love how it's labeled diary. <laughs> hey, excuse me. Excuse me. Dennis? I can't Dennis talk in, the back? in class? Mm, I, you got to raise your hand. You got to raise okay. your hand. All right, Dennis, do you have something to say? I like how you named your book Little Diary. It's the Diary of Professor Bones, okay? It's the only thing that wasn't trademarked, and I'm not able to call it a history book. Okay, Dennis? Yeah. Are you happy? Yeah. How come you only chime in when when you want to call out my flaws, huh, Dennis? Your mom has flaws. Dennis, why are you... This is an elective class. You had to sign up to be here. Why are you doing this? Because you're hot. Dennis, again, I'm not as flattered. Read my eyelids. Oh my god. They're just pictures of something crude. I don't want to repeat it. That's yes, right. Yeah, no, don't repeat it. I Dennis, I said don't. Okay. Does anyone have any relevant questions to the reading? Yet, yeah, Mark. Um, the mini fridge is out of Baja Blast. Uh, could you could you get that refill before next week? Okay. Yes, I am also the school cafeteria lady. <laughs> All right, I will. But make but please, we gotta separate these two roles. Cafeteria suggestion box over there. Any yeah, questions? Was, the the hole was filled with gum. I couldn't put my slip in it. Okay. All right. I will. I'm janitor from <laughs> nine to twelve, so I will put on my janitor outfit and I'll go clean that up. Okay. So once it's cleaner, you you gonna. Do I need to come back to put the suggestion yeah, just in? Yeah, do it tomorrow, gonna... okay? Do it tomorrow. I'm sorry. You can live one day with that Baja Blast. Okay, Mark? All right. Last. I saw you on Tinder. Dennis, you did it. <laughs> Dennis, I know you did it. I did. Dennis, stop making fake accounts with me. And then stop matching. And then stop doing the recovery email, my school email. I keep getting those notifications. <laughs> I didn't forget it my counts. password. It's even, just Dennis spelled different every time. <laughs> even if I match with your fake account, it still counts. Stop spelling my name Dennis D E N I S. Okay, it's very inappropriate. I'm I, Din his. 
Okay. All right. Well, oh, that's the bell. That's all the time we have. We'll see you tomorrow where we'll be covering chapter six, how my ex-wife kind of looks like a zombie. All right. See you later. Packs up bags, <laughs> shuffling papers. Pardon me. What is it, Dan? Oh. Normally only Dennis stays after class. Don't mind my heart scars. Oh, I didn't notice your bare open chest until <laughs> just now. <laughs> It it's, is a community college. It's a deep V, and it's a deep scar. Wait, I recognize that whole wound anywhere. You didn't visit... The catacombs. The CFC, did you? No, I went to the catacombs. Also known as the Crypt of Crimes? Yeah. <laughs> I've never thought I'd see one in real life. May I? Uh... <laughs> sure, put your paws right on that scar. Splurge. <laughs> yeah, it's right wow. on ointment on it. There's, so it's, it's oh. quite the texture. <laughs> mm, Neosporin pain like relief. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Step back in it. It's up this. Uh, the Bob Blast, were you, are you getting it zero this time? or dead? Mark, just put all it all on the instructions. I'll make sure to follow your instructions, okay? Okay, so It'll I, be... I feel that. But then when... Why don't you just back. take the gum, tack it onto the box. I'll be the first thing I see, okay, Mark? Okay. Okay, thanks, Mark. God. All right. Sorry, where were we? I'm fighting an infection, <laughs> so you might want to sanitize. I think that might be mouth. the worst of your problems. You know, a fortnight in this state, and I'm f sorry to say, young lady, you'll be a zombie forever. That's why I came to you. I heard you know a lot about the last six months of information about zombies. I do. I do. That crypt is only six months old, and it was created by my ex-wife. <laughs> I knew you'd have information galore. Ugh. I'm an open book, but I'm, I'm afraid that the price that you're looking to pay, I just, it's, it's too great. Why can't you just help an old gal out? Because the only way for you to get your heart back is to get someone willingly to give up theirs. It's a real ring situation. Would you do it for me? <laughs> I am lonely. <laughs> and what do I have to live for except a shift as a community college professor, a cafeteria lady, and a janitor? But no, I would... I'd hate it. That would give my ex-wife too much power over me. She's the crypt keeper there, you know. A real skeletal biatch. I bet you can change your ways. Hers? You know her better than anyone. I tried. I tried for 20 years of marriage, I did, and why well, she wanted to commit the worst crimes known to man, and I let it slide for too long. So that's it? You're just giving up on any solution? Well, to be fair, this is your problem, right? Sure, but... You had to willingly walk into that crypt, didn't you? Yeah. But I didn't know the stakes. I just was looking for a good time. I was bored of life. You ever get that way? I do. I do. I was bored of life, curious about death. Wow. It was the safer way to experience it. We're kindred spirits, you and I. I feel like I've known you a million years. Hand buttons a shirt. <gasps> Wait, your heart's already missing too? No, I just had triple by bypass surgery. Oh. But I know what it feels like to have your heart tampered with. Maybe there's a third solution. Something we haven't figured out. Check your diaries. Uh, uh, quick. <laughs> quick. Uh, quick. I only have the one. Yeah, go to the index. Uh, all right, quick index. The Solutions. <laughs> Solutions glossary. Go to glossary. Mm, page uh, 1111. Uh, section A, B. Wait, there's something smidged out here. I must have written it. It was crazy drunk. It says... <laughs> The third option to replacing your heart is to find a husb? A husb? <laughs> what? A husb? I don't know what that means. Could mean husband? No, I don't know. We won't know for sure. Wait, you're not coming on to me, are you? <laughs> I'm just trying to get my heart back. Wait a second. This would make sense. When you get married, you, your heart doesn't belong to you anymore. So if you can truly fall in love 
in the next how long have you been how long how long has it been since you, since you had two had? weeks it's been two weeks <laughs> by tonight <laughs> <laughs> if you can truly fall in love and get married tonight and give your heart to another then why the catacombs would have no power over you dun 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 <laughs> and, that's and, where, and that's where the scene ends yeah wow what that's great she wished she had seen him sooner but this class only meets once every two weeks <laughs> yeah, well because it, the, the history is so recent yeah. there's not new curriculum <laughs> yeah. very often so right. he has to wait till something happens that's right yeah. he has to wait two yeah. weeks to report on a yeah, new thing on what's happened it's really more of a live blog than it is an actual class yeah and community colleges sometimes uh sometimes they got to get creative yeah true um, so in this next scene, it's, uh, you know, a montage of them going through all the things they think you need in a marriage to fall in love, mm -hmm. uh, but all crammed into one night. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, I really like, I think my favorite part about this next scene is when Dennis keeps showing up. That's right. Yeah. Because uh. Uh, they're, he's the kid they adopt. Because they think you have to have a kid to uh, to make a marriage to real. fall in love. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> they're, so they have they really weird conservative the kid views on this. Who keeps Tinder matching <laughs> from the class? That's right. <laughs> well, they they're scared to adopt a young kid because they're like they can't take care of themselves. Right. They need a self-sustaining <laughs> yeah. kid. Right. And to make like, their love real. Okay, I get it. We'll adopt an adult. You see, what happens is they <laughs> sometimes people who fall fall out of love think a kid can save them, and they right. think falling in love, the kid will do the same the thing. The kid will do the same. So yeah. they have a kid. What else is like? They have their uh, an they have their tenth anniversary dinner. Mm -hmm. They get neck on their tattoos. First day. Yeah. They get, they get neck tattoos. Yeah. What else is like quintessential romance making? Um, um, they they try to meet both of their families. Oh yeah. Um, which just consists of uh, her cat and uh, his aunt Shirley. That's um, right. And his ex's family. That's yeah, right. Yeah, which is pretty yeah. substantial yeah. actually. Yeah. 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 Okay. So yeah, let's let's see that scene. Just kind of like a quick <laughs> montage of all those things. I think. <sighs> quick recapping of the things we just said. Well, it doesn't have to be all those. Yeah, it could be more it stuff that we haven't mentioned. It could be more. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It could and, be anything. And don't let it fool you that we say like, what else? What else? What else? <laughs> well, There's so to, much more. Yeah. In the scene, they're trying to think like, oh, if this is gonna work, if yeah. the spell is gonna be accurate. We need to come up with everything we can. So they're thinking about some of this stuff on the spot. Yeah. Yes, and then it culminates to them confronting <laughs> the, crypt the crypt and seeing mm -hmm. if if it worked. Yeah, if the, yeah. she the got her heart back. Yeah, the crypt and the ex-wife, the crypt The ex-wife, the crypt keeper. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Lights up. Hey, Mommy. Hey, Daddy. Dennis, <laughs> just call me Father, please. Read me a bedtime story. All right. There once was a 21-year-old man who lived in his own apartment. I'm ready to leave him home. Oh, no. <laughs> Darn it. Sorry. Oops. But he's still our kid, and you got to love him. You got to love him, right, love sweetie? Him. We love our kid. We love our kids Later so much. Later at the tattoo party. <laughs> uh, I'm getting an eyeball emoji. A heart emoji, and then a poo emoji. I'm just getting I yours. <laughs> oh, I love learning this about you. you. How about for you? Fancy seeing you here, you guys. I'm getting a Baha Blast tattoo. Oh, Mark. Oh, Mark. This seems to be central to your whole character. I'm so glad. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. Oh, you're so welcome. Uh, quick cut to the carnival. Okay. Um. Oh, wow. These swings. They're so. Uh, they're so up to regulation. We're at the carnival now. Dennis. <laughs> a bad group of friends. Dennis, hey, come here, buddy. Get that doobie <laughs> out of your fingies. I'm wearing a shirt with the sleeves ripped off by my bare strength. Hey, Dennis, look, when I first met your mom, I was kind of a rapscallion, you too. You are a rapscallion. Dennis, look. I'll never stop loving you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, quick cut to um, an ethical puppy mill, a.k.a. the pound. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go get a. Let's go adopt three dogs. Oh look, this one likes you. He's licking your toes. Oh. oh wait, that's not a dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think it's Dennis. Dennis. <laughs> I don't think so. Dennis. 
Dennis, get out of here. It's a guy that looks like Dennis. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Mark, not you now. Sorry. Um, you had spilled some Bob last year. Oh, the my gosh. And I've been that guy is one-dimensional at best. Um, okay, well... Oh, look, it's a cute little golden retriever. Oh, Arf. come with us. I, we'll take you home. Oh, it looks looks like it might be good in a pinch, too. It looks like it's got some fight in them. You guys take refunds, right? I mean, this could only last a day. <laughs> if we put this on our card, we'll get that back, won't we? <laughs> Let's put it on credit, just in case. Um, okay, and then to the their anniversary dinner, their 10th anniversary dinner. Oh, this cruise is beautiful. Oh, wow. I love having... Um, uh, people who couldn't make it on Broadway <laughs> but still wanted to have a career in musical theater. I love hearing them perform. Oh, uh, look at those dancers. Oh, they look like they peaked in high school. Oh, man. I just love you so much. And we've gone through so much. We time. have in such a short amount of time. <laughs> we to put our dog down. <laughs> they wouldn't accept refunds. <laughs> but the dog was... I'm um, 21 years old. Uh, you know, I feel when we had a kid, it almost broke us. I did. It was hard it to was see our about kid them. go through that hard stuff. And, and then I had to rediscover hobbies. I'm like, who am I when he ran away? Right. And like, <laughs> you know, we based our whole relationship on rearing children that we couldn't find time for us. But now we can. And now we can. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, we, we gotta, gotta go. go. <laughs> Later at the catacombs. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Shucks. That is only my stage name. Oh. My real name is the ex-wife. Oh. Oh. That's your name? That's your real name? Yeah, her name's ex-wife. I should have seen it coming. That's That can't be true. I know you have a real name. Okay, it's Exy. Okay, Exy. <laughs> Listen, you don't have to define your whole life by someone who divorced you. <laughs> that's, that's not fair. He didn't give me his whole heart. And so I collected all the bones of the worst criminals down here <laughs> to start the apocalypse. <laughs> but uh, but uh, people kept coming in here to give the hearts to stop it. Yeah. Myself included. I guess there's part of me that doesn't want this. This apocalypse is all I have left of my broken marriage. Here's my diary for you to read. Oh my gosh. Uh, skim, 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 skim. Okay. Wow. wow. Okay, skim. Oh, it's, deep it's, read, deep yeah, read. Deep read. <laughs> Six hours later. Wow, that was beautiful. Can I tell you something? What? I've fallen in love with you. I, 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 what? I feel I know more after reading your diary than I have spending a whole day with Mr. Bones. What? I thought that you gave your whole heart to me, but <gasps> the prophecy. The prophecy. <laughs> Here, read my diary so you fall in love with me we really fast. Read, skim, 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 <laughs> skim, skim. All I need is a skim. You're the most interesting person I've ever met. But I'm sorry, uh, the, uh, the zombies, they have started. And we no. see them reach over to the heart. But just as they're about to sink their teeth into it, a silhouette of gold goes around it and it breaks their teeth. That's right, it's just like Hercules. The heart <laughs> is protected by the love. And what's this? The professor's heart starts glowing too. All of their hearts start glowing. Dennis appears. Turns out you did love me. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't realize I'd been falling in love with you this whole time too, Dennis. That's the only reason your heart would be glowing. What you say you take a ride on the Ferris wheel? <laughs> All right, Dennis, let's give this a shot. And they do. And they do. And they have a double wedding right, right there. Right there in the crypt. And the, the zombies are their witnesses and, and the priest. And the priest says, the worst crime is to never love at all. Luckily, <laughs> that's a crime that wasn't committed today. I the now pronounce, pronounce you man, man and, and Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What an incredible, what an incredible tale. Um, and uh, yeah, we loved it. And we wish you could see it in theaters, but unfortunately, uh, I didn't make it past the script. Ah, terrible. Yeah, it's a bummer, really. 
Um, and the script was really boring because a, a lot of it was just stage direction for mimes. And we had to like, you know. Yeah. And like 70% of it was just readings from the diary. Yeah. Mm, which yeah. was really long. shocking. Yeah. And it, just, and, it, and it just said black text on stage. So a lot of it was like an audio book, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. But what's not boring is you, my dear friends, because we love to reveal the things that we love to you. And it truly is one of the greatest crimes a person commit to not love. But luckily, we love you. <laughs> we love you a lot. And we hope that you tune in with us every single Friday here at this little show we like to call Fan Film Friday. yoing. There we go. Oh, that's nice. <coughs> Mine right. is still... Crinkly. Still crinkly, no. crinkly? Yeah. Is this yours? Is this doing stuff for you? Um, maybe. Yeah, that, that sounds better. That feels better. I loved that. Bravo. Uh, Lumi stories of Paris, France. Falling in love with the trenches or something casual like that. Flat Stanley Friday. You're so funny. Flat I love you guys. Stanley. Yeah. Take me uh, back. Zach character married Thank for you. 20 years and still doesn't know how marriage works. <laughs> Isn't that all of She's us? wanted in the States. Why? Let's see. Loving the Improv Broadway Laugh Pass. Thank you, Caleb, for being one of our beta beta hey. testers. Yes. You're so thank cool. You so much. Thanks. Wait, uh, did we launch that? Yeah. yeah on the Friday. beta launched on Friday. We beta oh, launched. Cool. We, had, we, had a, we had 100 people. Is there a place to leave comments so they can tell us what they like? Yeah. There's a forum and there's a, there's a whole page for all that. So thank you so much. Cool. Uh, let's see here. All right. We're going to do one more. We're going to do a quick one. Uh, we're going to do uh, another Fan Film Friday. So give us a title of a Fan Film Friday that does not exist. That, does, that, doesn't, that doesn't exist. A movie. Give a us a movie. movie. Title of a film. Love the beard, said Dumpy. Shay, you're so pretty. Thank does you. Does Shay have TikTok? She does. She's the improv girl, and she posts approximately once every four months. Um, and I think that's why... Um, she has so much mystique around her. People are like, when's she going to drop <laughs> another video? <laughs> the Lonely Orca. Cold Calling to Heaven. Oh. Dune. Mm. I did Cold Calling me to too. Heaven. Me too. That's fantastic. Cold Calling to Heaven. Yeah, That's yeah, fun. Yeah. Let me, um, I just got to give me five minutes for it real quick. Okay. I like Cold Calling to Heaven. Heaven. Um, anything fun on YouTube we should we should be looking up to? Oh. It's not up there. It went to sleep. The table went to sleep. Oh, no. <clears throat> cold collared ever. The tall boy. The cold. What was the story Shea posted? You posted a story? I did. I Probably not. <laughs> I hope Terrified. not. I don't think so. <laughs> it I don't was think so on... Long. Um, against my will, if it was. Um, also, we're we're performing live in Colorado on April 16th and 17th. Uh, we made a post about it and didn't get a ton of comments about it. So I hope people come. But if you're in the Colorado area, uh, 16th and 17th, we'll be light. We'll be we'll be there those two nights doing our little our little shindig. Um, y'all are my comfort pill. Thanks. Zach Shea, you're so Comfort pretty. Hill? Again. Comfort. Tail, tall tail heart. <laughs> Wear, uh, let's see, my mom's high heels. I love you guys so much. Jake Kroll, happy Monday. I love you guys, and I love Shay's laugh, too. You guys are so funny. Um, someone said you're my comfort pole. Comfort so we got comfort pole, pole and comfort pill. Come, like the North Pole. Come to Jersey. We'd love to make a make a tour request. Um, and if someone pays us a shockingly small amount of money, we'll try to make it out there. <laughs> yeah, we'd love to go to Jersey. Um, also, shout out to Caleb. He's incredible, and we couldn't do anything without him. We would be, we'd be cucked. We'd be, Was that the we'd first time you played a character uh, in one of these? I don't know. Is it? Maybe. No. I feel like I've done little, You've done little cameos. That's probably, bits here and there. that's probably the most I've done. Yeah. The soldier Yips. that stole my heart. Oh, Mr. Yips. Joe Joe says, Zach, you're so pretty. Oh, thank you, Joe. I'm so sad I live in Scotland. Me too. Uh, Dude, I'll trade you. I'll trade come you. Come here, I'll come there. You lo- you move to Provo, Utah. We'll move to Scotland. Mm-hmm. We can it's like the holiday. We the can deal swap, struck. swap houses. Yeah. Not on April 20th. No, we will not be there April 20th. Yeah. We'll be there April 16th and April 17th. Oh, wow. Colorado. I've been to Colorado, says Brady Evans, 830. That's really cool, Brady. Um, really cool. Shay is exist. You are exist, Shay. I am exist. Caleb, you're so pretty. Thank oh. you, DC and C. 
Um, oh, wait, they're doing Friday. Yes, we're doing our Friday segment now. Deal with it. Deal with it. April Foolio. It's part of the magic. Right, the North Pole it. is my favorite. You're my comfort food. Can you guys say hi, Elia? Sure, I just did. Uh, <laughs> Slim Jim song. That was a great one. That was a fun one. We should do more fake ads. Yeah. Yeah. Come to London. I'd love to come to London. Chungus says, Zach is so pretty. Thanks, Chungus. Um, so they have comedy there in Colorado or Utah? I'm, I guess it's surprising in both ways. Not in Colorado. We're going to be the first. I'm very excited. <laughs> Let's see. Zach is my absolute favorite, says Austin Fitzgerald. Is there an age restriction to your shows? No, we try to be, we try to be family friendly. Sometimes we, we edge into PG. Solid PG territory, yeah. but we do our best. We do our best. We're uncontrollable. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Is this still movie titles? Yes. I think we're going to do Cold Calling Heaven. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That sounds great. And I'm, I'm rolling. I'm ready when you get there. Okay. Are you, are you waiting for me? Oh, we were, we were going to go straight. We would do the intro? Yeah. Yes. See you again. Oh. Thanks for coming to my house, uh, Mrs. Ghost. Of course. Anytime. <laughs> I called you here because I, um, well, I think my, I think my mom is haunting my house. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'm sensing a strong sense of disappointment. Yep, that sounds about right. Hmm, I'm <laughs> smelling perfume that smells like mm, water mm. mixed with lilies. Mm-hmm. I'm hearing Agatha Christie on audiobooks. <laughs> she turned that on. Uh, I'm <laughs> smelling guacamole made only with lemon and salt. <laughs> <laughs> That's her f- her favorite dish, the only one she can make. Oh, it looks like she thinks she still lives here. I'm hoping that I could, you know, give her a quick call. You want to channel your mother? I don't really want to talk to her. I was hoping you could do it. You want to be All right. Well, I'll I'll be the middle lady. Okay. What would you like to say? Um well, she passed when I was 10. Right. And you're how old now? 30. 20 years. <laughs> Odd, it took her 20 years to come back. Yeah. That's not uncommon, you know. Sometimes ghosts will go to heaven and they'll miss their sweeties and they'll move back into their apartments. I get it. So I'm just wondering, you know, everyone's always asking big questions. Mm. I just want... Some small stuff. It's like good book recommendations. Really? That's what you want? Uh, like, what's heaven like? Okay, let me see. <laughs> in order, book recommendations. <gasps> Agatha Christie, of course. But it's great in book form. And what's heaven <laughs> like? It's lonely. Surprisingly lonely. Not that many people made it. Let me see, let me see, let me see. <laughs> No. How On many? 1,000. Oh, wow. I mean, still, that's like, I guess it's a small town. Out of 100 <laughs> billion souls. I guess heaven's just a small town. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great discovery and a beautiful metaphor. Man. Is there anything else you'd like me to ask her? <laughs> um, yeah, ask her... Uh, if she has any warnings for me. Hmm. Oh. Oh my. Oh dear. She says you're not on the list. You don't have the option to visit. They know already? Your name's written in a book. And your deeds have... Oh, what's this? She said. She said you will understand this. She said, do you remember spilling grape juice on Mr. Tiddlybunk? <laughs> yep. She says your soul is more stained than a million Mr. Tiddlybunks. Wow. That's why she came down here to to warn you. Okay. Feels like there's nothing I can do. She says there is. Okay. She says there are things what you can do. It? 
She says you have to good do good deeds to wash the stain from your soul. Okay, I can do good deeds. Yes. I'll go wipe off the the stain. She said much much more intense than that. Okay, like what? She says I can't help you with everything. You uh, you got to figure this out on your own. Okay, okay. All right. I'll go on a quest to do good deeds. She says, and pick up some more tortilla chips and avocados from Smith's. <laughs> she said she's getting hungry. You can and she said, you didn't make a bed this morning. She said, I, I didn't raise you like that. Okay. And she said, uh, what's with you? Filling okay. up the bathtub one I'm... inch, boiling hot, and putting it and only laying back down <laughs> on it like a lobster? What's the deal with that? I'm hanging up now. Oh, oh, oh. She said, I love you. Okay. <laughs> and she's gone. Well, from my mind. Your soul is doomed for... Hmm. I don't want to say it. What is something a 30-year-old woman can do with the time she has left to wash her soul clean? Yeah, I'm going to do a bunch of good deeds. Hmm. Well, is there anything else I can do for you, young lady? Yep. Here's a back massage. Oh. First good deed done. Uh, <laughs> ow, you pulled my muscle. <laughs> oh, I got a crick in my neck now. Yeah. Ah, your mom said that increased the blot. <laughs> oh my gosh. This will be harder than I thought. Blackout. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Fan Film Friday! Hello and welcome back to Fan Film Friday with Caleb, Zach, and Shay at Improv Broadway. Those are our names, and this is the show where we tell you about some of the best musicals that, or sorry, the best fan films uh, that uh, never were able to be seen by a white audience. Uh, and this is one of our favorite fan films uh, that was called. Why am I already forgetting it already? Cold Calling Heaven. Cold Calling Cold Heaven. Calling Heaven. <laughs> Uh, yeah, a chilling tale about um, a very exclusive celestial being coming back to warn her daughter for past sins so that maybe she can atone and get a shot at heaven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so that, that opening scene we see that she's, oh, there's a chance she can save herself, but it seems like a normal good deed, something nice for someone, for some reason, wasn't going to cut it. So she, right. she, in this next scene, she gets to kind of explore... Well, what is it really that's going to save me? Yeah. Yeah. Because all of the nice things that she's trying to do end up hurting people. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what this whole scene is. It's like, oh, uh, I brought you a coffee. It was laced with cyanide. Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh. Dead. They're dead. dead. Yeah, so not even like missing the mark, but causing real objective oh, harm. Yeah. Well, some are less... Yeah. Some are less some are, traumatic. That was some the are biggest poisoning. one. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, by the end of the first day, she calls her mom back. She's like, hey, uh, how close am I? Her mom's like, three times farther. <laughs> so <laughs> That's right. She's got a, yeah. a lot of making up to do. And so yeah, this then. next day, she tries again with some more, mm -hmm. with some more activities. Um, yeah. Um, and, and we'll see how she does this time. Yeah. Lights up. Uh, hey, Jeff. What up? Um, listen, I just wanted to diagnose you with ADHD. Um, that's <laughs> not my diagnosis, but... I've just, I've noticed a lot of symptoms. I've seen it on TikTok. I just want you to know you have it bad. Oh, interesting. Well, if I have ADHD, then I don't miss people. Beep, boop, boop, boop. Hey, wife, I don't miss you. What? Divorce? No! Oh, man. Here, here's some Adderall to help with your symptoms. <laughs> I don't really have ADHD, so this is basically just meth. <laughs> oh, oh, gone wrong again. Uh, hey, Holly. Oh, hi. Um, I, I baked you some lasagna. Oh, that is so kind of you. Yeah, for you and your family. I'm going to dig right in right now. Okay. Wait, this doesn't have noodles in it, does it? it? <laughs> 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 Oh, no, she's it's, allergic to it's noodles. It's said on her, on her waistband, death, death, death egg allergy. Oh, man. Um, uh, hey, oh, Mrs. Mrs. Chops. Oh, hello. Uh, here, let me help you cross the street. Oh, no, that's kind of right. right. I, I, I let, me help, let, me, let me help you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Mrs. Chops. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're an uh, ambulance man. <laughs> ambulance man. Hey, come, come get her. She's been, 
she was hit by a Maserati. Oh my gosh, is the Maserati okay? And, <laughs> uh, yeah, I checked that first. Oh, uh, okay, cool. She's dead. Oh man. Oh my gosh, but I could use some help carrying this body in here. Oh, that's perfect. I can help you with this. <laughs> <Rip>. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the body slipped on a banana peel. <laughs> <laughs> and onto me. Oh, oh no. I'll never walk again. Oh. Okay, um, uh, hey, Lisa. What's up? Um, hey, I, I just fixed your, <laughs> fixed your toilet. I broke in and I did some plumbing work. Oh my gosh, let me just check my, out. let me just check my wise camera. It's all flooded. Oh no, <laughs> my Labrador's in the basement. No. I did my best. Hey, uh, hey, Carly. Hi. Hey, um, hey, I knitted you, a. Uh, a sweater. Oh my gosh. It's hand knit. Wow, this is really beautiful. Why is this shaped like a long piece of rope with an O at the end? <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, up. my internal <laughs> thoughts are <laughs> the best of me. <laughs> oh, <gosh>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Rosalind. Uh, oh, hello. <laughs> I got you a. Um, I, Wait, I, that, that gun has the safety on, on it. <laughs> oh! Oh, hi. Hey, um, I know you've been wanting to start a YouTube channel, so I started one for you. Oh my gosh, I'm in the bath right now. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 Really? If it's connected to a, if it's if it's charging, it's charging. Oh, yeah. I didn't and it know was. it was charging. <laughs> <laughs> Thought it was fine. Hey, ma'am. Hey, ma'am. It's me, the local police. Oh. I wonder if you could help me with the string of murders going on. <laughs> you gotcha. Uh, yeah. Any clues? Any uh, testimonies you like to give? Oh uh, well, I did see a bloody handprint on my house last night. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and which one's your house? Uh, <laughs> right here. Oh, this. Right, right in this deep pit. Oh! <laughs> oh, no. oh gosh. Uh, Mrs. Ghost walks by. How's it going? Oh, I think I've murdered people. It's all gotten out of control. I'm definitely not going to heaven now. Let me check in with your mother. Oh no. She says you have the darkest soul she's ever seen. Oh, gosh, all I wanted to do was good. I thought I could be a good person, but looks like I was destined to be bad. She says, well, if you'll never go up there, then she'll stay down here with you. Really? She'd give up heaven for me? Yes. That's sweet. She's hugging you right now. I feel it. Feels like being inside a refrigerator. She said that's hurtful. She can't help that. <laughs> I say no offense. She says offense taken. Tell her, take down that fence. <laughs> she says it's twice as hot, it's twice as hot tall. Well, tell her let's bury the hatchet. She says like you buried a hatchet and all those friends of yours. <laughs> well, tell her that. I'm sensitive about that right now. Well, she says maybe you should take a little accountability for your actions. Well, tell her I'm hanging up now. Well, tell her she's, oh, it just went dead. <laughs> it just went dead. Well, I'm going to stop doing good things now. And see. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a really a low point in the show because I feel like obviously this is a hyper-exaggerated form. Mm -hmm. But sometimes no one mourns the wicked. No good, no good deed goes unpunished. And sometimes you really try to be a good person and all you can do is hurt people. And I think that metaphor comes across really yeah. well. Mm -hmm. But in this last scene we were able to get a little glimmer of hope of redemption and we learned the lesson for those of us who are trying to do good. And it comes about in a pretty surprising way. Mm -hmm. It really uh, moves me. Mm. Yeah. It's like every time I watch it, it brings a tear to my eye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it's your classic feel good movie. She was trying to help people for herself, but once she stops thinking about herself and she tries to help people, purely for their benefit she can go to heaven <laughs> <laughs> and who was the one person that she 
didn't see needed the most help most of all? Her mom was already there. Her mom. Her mom. That's right. Stop trying to help alive people. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta you gotta do charity for the dead. Charity for the dead. <laughs> <laughs> By proxy. <laughs> By proxy. <laughs> That's right. And so in this last scene, she's going to try and, yeah, do some good some good deeds for her mom. Mm-hmm. And um, Who already has life pretty great. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we, at this point in the story, we haven't learned a whole lot about like what heaven is like. Other yeah. than there's not a lot of people there. Right. right? It's kind of like the good yeah. place. So, yeah. So she's because she's like, man, there's no hope for me at all. Well, I guess let me find out what I'm missing. So she she calls her mom to learn a little bit about what's going on over there. Yeah. And because her heart's in the right place, she's able to talk to her mom directly without mm-hmm. Mrs. Ghost. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She did have to pay for like a, a subscription service, but. Yeah. But I mean, $3, five bucks. It's like not that big yeah. a deal. Yeah. Worth it. Like people like, you know, five bucks for like a new thing every day. It's like pretty reasonable. <laughs> Very reasonable. And her mom's sure. always coming out with new content. Yeah. New content. <laughs> yeah. 11 shows. Mm-hmm. And she's like, and honestly, if you sign up right now, it's maybe three. Well, like right now it might be closed, but like probably later in the future it'll be five. It'll be But five. you can get yeah, on the waiting list. Yeah, when I recorded this last week. And yeah. That's less than Netflix. That's way less than Netflix. Heaven, less I than pay like Netflix. $22 oh, dollars for Netflix right steal. now. That's cr- and there's still ads. I'm just watching, I'm just watching Amazon Prime. There's still ads. Right. That's the that's HD that's H E double hockey sticks for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see this scene. Lights up. <laughs> Sweetie. Oh mom. I hate myself right now. Come here, pumpkin pie. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I'm comforted. Oh, sweetie, I you know. I know you're trying your hardest out there, but you killed all those people. (laughs) And that's bad enough itself. But the one thing I didn't hear you do, even once, was say, I'm sorry. (laughs) So true. I should have said, I'm sorry to that dead thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I was trying to help across a busy freeway. <laughs> See, that was your mistake. She didn't want to cross the freeway. <laughs> Stranded on the road. And that other lady didn't want a live loaded gun. <laughs> she didn't want that. She collected uh, A42s, but I. Oh, the most deadliest <laughs> assault rifle, the A42. <laughs> I just thought she'd want another one, but you're right. She had enough. And actually, no one should have guns. Sweetheart, dude. I hate to say it, but you know who else you didn't? ever apologize to you mom you and i spent 10 years of my life being so ungrateful and then you die well, that's so unfair to you well what was unfair i and i really tried to not bring it up but i haven't told you how i died <laughs> to spare you the pain but i think you not being held accountable for that has really been a burden i already know why it was mother's day I was making you eggs. Yes. But I slipped. You slipped. And they went in the other end. (laughs) I butt suffocated from deviled eggs. (laughs) And that's not easy to do. You made so many and was so forceful. And at any time you could have done, done the butt lick maneuver... But you didn't do it once. You stood I, there and I shrugged did, and I shrugged and shrugged. I didn't know how. I was ten. I was dying enough to pull it up. It was early YouTube years. And I said, I pointed. I point. Of course, I was choking. I was choking. I couldn't speak. Right. Because it went all the way from my bum to up to my vocal cords. And you just, and what did you do? You played Neopets, darling. You <laughs> closed out of YouTube and you went on to Neopets. I was 10. And you charged my credit card, darling. <laughs> Again, I'm not, I'm, I, I've forgiven you for that. But I'm wondering if you're learning the lesson here. 
I should say sorry, even if I don't mean to hurt anybody. Of course, I'm yes. I'm still hurting them. Yes, because sometimes therapists will say, figuratively, if you shoot someone with a gun on accident, the bullet hole's still there. In your case, this literally happened. Right. And in a bunch of different scenarios. <laughs> And sweetheart, for once, for once, please take off the smirk <laughs> and give us all a heartfelt apology. I don't want a two or three word thing. Okay. I want to feel it. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> <laughs> literally okay. Your soul has gone the darkest There's crimson no I've ever more. seen. There's no more sincerest apology than a Grinch quote. That is the realest emotion That's you can true, get. That's true, but only if it's delivered by the Grinch. Otherwise, it's a parody. I want you to monologue me a true, tear-wrenching apology. No. Well, enjoy <laughs> hell <of> there! <laughs> She's starting. I'm sorry. She peeks her ear in. Forgive me. She's getting more sincere by the second. I'm so sorry. <laughs> She's saying more than just I'm sorry. I saved my soul. <laughs> That's a plea, not an apology. I did bad. Oh, I see. I she... made boo boo. Oh, she's starting to <laughs> recognize her impact. I need band aid. Yes, she's recognized that she needs help. <laughs> Forgive me. Oh, the poetic language is beginning to start. I, I have cut you. Yes. <laughs> and I must use a salve. Yes. <laughs> I am the. I I am the cavity and I must be filled. <laughs> Surely that's not it. It is. Oh, there's got to be at least one more thing to bring it home. I'm I'm the garbage that I've forgotten to take out on trash day. And that's what mothers are for. And she reaches into the pit of Hades and grabs her forth, and as she does, we see the light, darkest crimson, lighten, lighten, whiten, until it's pure as a sheet, and mother and daughter glowing as bright as the noonday sun. Embrace. I forgive you, she whispers. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> and they look up a stairway to heaven, and she says, it's pretty lonely up there. But I think with you, sweetie, it could be heaven on earth. <laughs> nice. And the end. The end. Oh, so beautiful. A story of reluctant redemption. You know, it doesn't really matter how it gets there as long as we get there. And that brought a tear to my eye. And I hope it did to yours. And I hope those tears motivate you to maybe call someone up and apologize for something they did wrong. And I have an apology for you, dear listener. I'm sorry we didn't do this show sooner. I'm sorry that you weren't able to see it until just right now. And I'll forever live with that regret. But I will work on making it up to you by doing this show every week. This show we like to call. Fan Film Friday. Oh, the live ended. What? I guess we have to restart it for everyone, but oh well. Did we uh, get any fun comments on YouTube? What's up, YouTube? Uh, are we still doing songs? Looks like no. No songs. No songs for Fan Film Friday. We keep it simple. Oh, here we go. Weird. Yeah, if the song's your favorite, Musical Monday and Silly Song Saturday. That's where most of that stuff is. It must be because you're also not <coughs> interacting, right? 
Yeah, it must be interactive. And hmm. also, my phone went to yellow battery mode, and I think oh. that passes it. Uh, is the does the adapter we're having does it have a, a audio input and a power input? No. Oh, we should get one of those. They've a got splitter? those. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just got it's just got two. A splitter. Like you. <coughs> yeah, maybe that's the issue. It isn't your battery low? Isn't that what's been happening every time? I think it gets to that point. Yeah, so maybe it just needs to be charged. Yeah, we could. We could get Thanks, one of those. J May. You rock. And. <laughs> TNC Bruno Mars just the way you are please, uh, please continue reviewing that beta throughout the week oh yeah we'll new things dropping making... well yeah we've got new things every day uh, but I'm also going to be making some major changes to how the videos are displayed so mm. oh cool we want to have people make sure that oh, you know, there are going to be a lot more kinks to work out Dude, yeah. are we getting some good feedback on the on the forum? Yeah, some people have identified some issues. Uh, I know how to fix some of them. <laughs> Isn't that how it goes? Yeah, one of them I think is just a problem with Wix itself. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. Thanks for subscribing, Kavya Gupta. Yeah, thank thanks, you. coffee. Um, yeah, if we could figure out whatever is going on with the. Um, I can take. The let's live. see. Thanks for watching. You guys record thank tomorrow. You. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate you. Um.